Hey, this is Chris from Less Than Jake, and I'm here with Vinny, and you're watching the Vinny Langdon Show. Hi, Vinny. What's going on? What's up, Chris? So this is the 2018 Warp Tour, and what brings you to the Warp Tour this year? Well, you know, I always get invited back every year. This yeah. is like the 12th or 13th. What year, year was your first Warp Tour show? 2006. Six. Well, do you remember what bands were on that? We were on that year. You were? Yep. Must have been a blur so yeah. long ago. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember actually Joan Jett actually. She was she there was that there. year. That she was, was there. That was amazing. That was fun. Um, first punk rock concert you went to? First punk rock concert. He's not interviewing me this time. I'm, I got this because the battery's there. working now. That is. First right? punk rock show, do you remember? First punk rock show. Oh, man. I don't know. It's some local band in Sacramento. Sacramento. Yeah. Do you used to live in Sacramento? No. No. I'm not here now. Yeah, I don't know. But did you, did you used to live there? Yeah, I used to you live did? in California. Was, yeah. the, was the venue called Ace of Spades? No. No? no. Terrible venue. No. Really? You ever been there? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Too many times. What other venue in Sacramento? Boardwalk in Orangeville? Oh, yeah. I know, I know the Boardwalk. Yeah, yeah, that's a good the place. Boardwalk. You ever go into the back room? Um, uh, unwittingly, yes. Yes, <laughs> that was, exactly. I was forced back there. Uh, Claude, <laughs> shout out to Claude, the sound guy, who's no longer there. But yeah. Remember he used to throw chairs when you guys wouldn't do the sound Yeah, before properly? he did before he did sound, he was a famous lion tamer. He's, his name is Claude Balls. <laughs> Anybody? Go. I don't know. No, my audience is too young for that one. Yeah. <laughs> there you so, go. So, uh, what brings you, um, you, you? What brought you to the uh, East Coast from uh, Sacramento? Family. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And um, did you go to college? I went to Solano Community College for yep. theater arts. Okay, you got like yeah. a two-year degree, like an associate's or something? Nah, I kind of just was like, eh, acting class. One in one thing. door and out the other? Yeah, yeah pretty okay. much. Majored yeah. in girls and bong hits? Yeah, pretty much. I've been much. there. Yeah. Um, so uh, the weather right now, people have been complaining. As you can see, it's overcast. But people are complaining that it was hot today. And me being from Florida, this isn't hot. You know, there's the this humidity. This is like sexy weather, right? Yeah, this is this is nothing. So, Porn star uh, weather How did you, you feel today about, about this? You know, I felt great, you know? Till the less than Jake set came on, then it got a little bit warmer. Yeah, yeah. like it was kind of like piss warm. It was, and then it was like arid warm, mm -hmm. and then it was kind of like after you guys played, then it was like oh yeah, now it's cold again. Piss warm hell? like airplane coffee. Speaking of airlines, what's your favorite airline? Do you fly exclusively one airline? We fly Delta. I fly oh. Delta exclusively because I kept climbing up the ladder. Now I have status. I get upgrades and stuff. Oh, Do you shit. fly much? No, I don't. No, yeah, no. you get to go in the Delta Lounge. I got stale popcorn and really shitty coffee. Really? Yeah, and a bunch yeah. of uptight, you know, hoity-toity guys in suits and ties. I was, I was that kid that was always allergic to peanuts. and then So like, am I. We have something in common. I know. All peanuts. See? New All peanuts. Knew BFFs for a reason. Yep. So, hey, I want to talk to you, Chris. No, no, no I'm talking to you. So, um, <laughs> now... When you come out to these shows, do they? Did you have to contact the Warp Tour to get like a press pass? Most people do. For me, I yeah, don't. You have an in. You have an I in. have an in. Did you yeah. have to pay for a ticket. Or you got in for free. I get in. For I free. love it. Yeah. I love uh, it. See, I would do that. See, okay, I'll, let, I'll, I'll let you ask me some questions. I'll, I'll, I won't. I won't bore you anymore. There you go. Well, hey, I remember. I remember. Uh, you know, growing up, Nickelodeon was a big thing. They had the show. This movie came out called Good Burger. And you guys were a part of that, weren't you? We were, and it's a very uh, sore subject because we never got paid for it. So, no. talk about the next question. Yeah, I know it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. No, yeah. that was that was a great movie. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. I'm a dude. You know, dude, and that that dudes. um that movie, you know, is one of those things that uh, continues to give you mileage to this day. And like, it's funny because little kids still watch that. You know that, and their and their parents will bring them to the show. And like a seven year old, twenty years later, you know, they know that song. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is cool. So you guys, sound the alarm last year. Yep. Came out with that. And what are you guys working on now? Um, we're working off trying to get off the road. We've been like last year was crazy and this year was was has been equally as crazy with the touring schedule so people always ask if we're going to do a new record and uh we want to i mean we we do we do record we do do records for ourselves at this point we know make music which we always have but um you know we're, we're touring a lot and the priority um really isn't making a record we're not on a label that's like you gotta make a record every two years and so we're just kind of going at our own pace and and uh like I said, we have songs. We just have to find time to record them. Yeah. And where does inspiration come from for some guy like you? Um, usually rodeos and uh, beer festivals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. NASCAR. About. You know, yeah. southern stuff. A little vroom vroom here and yeah, there. Yeah, a little vroom vroom. There you go. So besides playing in Less Than Jake, what do you enjoy doing? Are you a fisher guy? Uh, you um, or no, not that. I, uh, you know, I like to, to keep active, you know, yeah. exercise, hiking. Yeah. Not even kidding. Um, yeah, just family stuff. Yeah, that's you know. good. Yeah, and your family very supportive of you and Less Than Jake. They're oh always, yeah, they're oh, always yeah. wanting you to, them to be on the guest list. Gonna and see, right? gonna see mom and dad in Florida. They're coming out, and uh, my parents are closing in on seventy years old, and they're raising more hell than they were in their twenties. It's great. Yeah, we had to, they had to actually carry dad out and we or put him in a wheelchair and get him to the car last time. So it's yeah. good times. It's good times. Good times. Yeah. Well, Less Than Jake, Vans Warp Tour, one final time. If you didn't catch them, you know, it sucks to be you. So Vinny Langdon Show, Less Than Jake.
Good seeing you, man. You ready for this? Hey, this is Chris from Less Than Jake, and you're watching The Vinny Langdon Show. That's me. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Vinny Langdon. If you liked all my interviews from Warp Tour, make sure you, you hit that subscribe button. And uh, no more Warp Tour, so who knows what's next. I guess you got to stay tuned on The Vinny Langdon Show right here.